Hey guys, it's me Allie. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all having a beautiful start to your day. If you follow my channel, you know that I just came back from the most magical place in the entire world. We just spent seven days at Walt Disney World and it was everything. Walt Disney World is like my home. It just makes me so happy and it was the most fun I've ever had on any vacation. I just am itching to get back there as soon as possible. While I was out there, I did just a little bit of damage control. I did a little bit of shopping, and by a little bit, I mean a lot of it. So I figured today's video would be a huge Walt Disney World haul. Just a very quick little disclaimer, I put this in all of my haul videos. I know that there are a lot of people out there that absolutely hate haul videos. They think of them as bragging or boasting, and if you are one of those people, this might not be the video for you. But if you're interested in seeing what I bought at Walt Disney World, just stick around. I will try my hardest to put all the prices in this video. The reason why I do that is because before my Walt Disney World trip, I watch a lot of hauls to kind of see what is new out there and how much it is so I can kind of gauge how much I want to bring to Walt Disney World and approximately what I'm going to spend. So yeah, I'll put all the prices. If you have any other questions or concerns, ask them in the comments below. And without further ado, we're going to get right into this haul. So before we jump right into this haul, I just wanted to take a moment to personally thank so many of you. If you guys follow me on Instagram or you follow me on Twitter, you know that I got engaged on this previous trip to Walt Disney World and it was just so romantic, it was so beautiful, I felt like a princess and I've been living on cloud nine ever since. I posted a picture on my Instagram and on my Twitter and so many of you took the time out of your day to congratulate Adam and I and your well wishes seriously mean the world to us. So I just really wanted to thank you, thank you, thank you so much for making me feel so great during this happy time in my life. I, I cannot even explain how I felt reading all your comments and just all your congratulatory wishes. It just, it really, really means a lot to us. So thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. So one of the first purchases I made are these beautiful silver sparkly sequin Mickey Mouse ears. They're actually Minnie Mouse ears and you're probably asking yourself, Allison, why in the world did you buy another pair of Mickey ears? You have like 20 pairs already, but I don't have these really beautiful silver ones and they're just really, really beautiful. I didn't even wear them on my trip because I had too many ears that I brought with me, but I just really wanted them for my collection. So this haul is going to go in no particular order. I'm just going to start pulling things out of the bags from top to bottom. And the first thing that I'm pulling out is this gorgeous, gorgeous purple sugar skull. I got this from the Mexico Pavilion. And if you watched my previous Walt Disney World haul that I did last July, I am obsessed with sugar skulls. I bought a green one back then for my bedroom and I bought this one for my shelves in my living room. I just think sugar skulls are so, so beautiful. And a little fact for your day, I asked the guy at the Mexico Pavilion why they're called sugar skulls and he said that the coating on the sugar skull is made completely out of sugar. So it's completely edible. All of the actual like purple paint is really made out of sugar. So he wouldn't suggest eating it, but that is why they're called sugar skulls. A tradition that Adam and I have anytime we go to Walt Disney World, whether it's in October or July or December or October, any time of the year, we have to get a Christmas ornament. So this year we got this blue sparkly Mickey ornament and on the back they personalized it. They just put Adam and Allison 625 2014, which is our anniversary. I am so pumped about this next purchase. If you guys follow my channel, you know that I'm a huge, huge tie-dye fan and check out this super vibrant, super bright Walt Disney World Mickey tie-dye shirt. It is so beautiful. The colors are just everything and I cannot wait to wear this literally every single day. Next up is a gift from my niece Layla. She is one of the biggest Disney freaks out there. You guys think that I love Disney. She puts my Disney loving to shame. She is turning six this month and she loves Toy Story. So we picked her up this slinky doll. She really, really wanted this and she requested it from her parents. So I ended up asking her parents if I could just pick it up for her in Walt Disney World instead. Next 
Next up are these silicone Mickey Muffin Molds, and I am just in love with baking. I'm in love with all things Mickey Mouse. Mickey shaped food is the absolute best food, so it just seemed like something I had to have in my kitchen. Another tradition that I have anytime I go to Walt Disney World is to pick up a frame. We are annual pass holders, so we get the Memory Maker Photo Pass for free. So at the end of the trip, I like to print out a bunch of pictures of Adam and I and put them in frames all over my house. This frame that I picked up at Walt Disney World is this silver frame, and it has all Mickey heads along the perimeter. And what I really, really like about this frame is I have a lot of Disney touches in my house, and I don't want people coming into my house and being like, oh my god, it looks like Disney threw up all of your house. So this is a nice way to incorporate Disney into my house without it like screaming Disney to people who walk into my house. One purchase that I knew I really, really wanted when I went to Walt Disney World is this Monsters University Distressed Cap. I've seen a lot of people getting these and I was like, it's so, so cute. I want one for myself. So I ended up finding this at Magic Kingdom, no, excuse me, at Animal Kingdom and I'm just really, really excited I can finally start to wear it. So Halloween is one of my favorite favorite holidays and when we went to Disney Springs we went to the Christmas store and look what they had check out this Jack Skellington candle holder I could not contain my excitement when I found it I personally will probably keep this up all year round because I'm a huge huge Nightmare Before Christmas fan but it's also really really perfect with Halloween right around the corner and Christmas right around the corner too Also while in Disney Springs, we of course had to go to the co-op. The co-op is home to some of the most beautiful Disney artwork that I have ever seen. So while in there, I ended up purchasing this Up-inspired postcard. If you guys follow my channel, you know that Up is my favorite, favorite Disney and Pixar film after Toy Story, of course. And this is by the artist Joey Chow, and I just love the colors, and it just reminds me of just that happy feeling that I get whenever I watch the movie. Another purchase I knew I really, really wanted to make when I went to Walt Disney World was to pick up some more Disney Pandora charms for my Disney Pandora charm bracelet. Now, I had to save for this for a really long time because Pandora charms in general are ridiculously expensive. Throw the Disney logo on it and you're talking at least $20 to $30 more per charm, which is absolutely outrageous but I really really wanted these charms for my bracelet and let's be honest I am a sucker for all things Disney now you can get Disney Pandora charms at any of the Pandora retailers but they have Disney park exclusive ones that you can only get when you go to the Walt Disney World property so all the charms that I got this trip are Disney park exclusive ones that you can only get when you go to the resorts or you go into the parks So if you guys watch my channel, you already know that I am a huge grandma that truly, truly appreciates a good Friday night in, drinking tea, watching Netflix, and reading books. So to help me on my fun Fridays, I purchased this beautiful, beautiful Mickey tea kettle. Can we just take a moment to talk about how freaking beautiful this tea kettle is? I am so so obsessed i cannot wait to put it on my stove it's a nice little contrast of color for my kitchen so i feel like it's really going to pop and i think that everybody that comes in my house is going to love it i personally cannot go to walt disney world without picking out a plushie so this time around i got a stitch plushie and he's so cute and he's so cuddly and he's so soft and he's just, oh, I love him so, so much. Stitch is my favorite character. Belle, of course, is my favorite princess, but when we're talking about characters, it's definitely Stitch, and I just, I wanna hug him all day. And I'm just gonna take a moment to vent for a minute. This was 110% my fault, but I'm just, I can't even <laughs> describe the pain in my heart right now. When I went to Walt Disney World, I left 
my snuggle buddy in the room. The snuggle buddy that I've had for 10 years. The snuggle buddy that I sleep with every single night. The snuggle buddy that I showed you in my travel essentials video left him in the room. 100% my fault. I called the Disney Caribbean Beach Resort and they said they're going to put out like a lost and found ticket for them and they would call me if they found it but it's been over a week now and I have not received a call and I'm so sad. So he will never be my snuggle buddy. Snuggle buddy cannot be replaced but he's a pretty close second. So this trip clearly holds a very near and dear place in my heart for obvious reasons. So I really, really wanted to get an ornament that had 2016 on it. So when we are looking at our tree for years to come, we can always look back at this ornament and be like, oh, that's the year that we decided to spend our life with each other. And I know that sounds super, super corny, but I'm just in love with Adam. And it's just, it's really, really nice to know that I get to marry my best friend and I get to marry my prince and the Carl to my Ellie. And I just, I don't know, this is a great representation of the amazing trip that we had. So this is not a tradition that Adam and I have, but it seems like it's slowly turning into a tradition and I'm okay with that. It is Adam surprising me with an Alex and Ani bangle bracelet. Last year he surprised me with the Hakuna Matata one and this year he surprised me with the Belle one because like I just mentioned, Belle is my favorite, favorite princess. Speaking of Beauty and the Beast being my favorite Disney movie, I made somewhat of an impulse purchase. I have been wanting this Cogsworth and this Lumiere for so, so long, but they are both ridiculously overpriced. So I kind of had to go back and forth with myself before I bought it, but I basically had a pep talk with myself and was like, Allison, you work so hard in your job as a teacher. You just need to treat yourself when you want to treat yourself. So I was like, you know what, Allison? You're absolutely right. And then I ended up buying the Cogsworth and the Lumiere. I plan on putting these over my fireplace. It'll be a really nice conversation piece and it'll be something really nice to look at every time I'm in my living room. Next up are all the pins and the buttons that we collected, slash were gifted, slash bought on our trip. A bunch of these we got from Walt Disney World, just from like going to the resort or going to the front desk and asking them for the buttons. I got the Just Engage button, the Happily Ever After button, the other Happily Ever After button, and this Epcot Passport one. If you buy the passport, you get this really cool button with all of the countries and Mickey right in the middle. And then we got some pins. I bought the grape soda pin because of course I'm obsessed with Up. And then Adam's sister bought us the Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse engagement one where it's basically like two rings and then it has the Mickey ears and the Minnie ears on top. And Adam's niece was so, so sweet. She knows I love Up. And when we got engaged, she bought us the Carl and Ellie heart pin. There are a couple things left in this haul and the next two things that I picked up are my Disney mugs. I usually always get a Disney mug or five when I go to Walt Disney World and this year I picked up two Disney mugs. These are the teacup inspired Disney mugs and they're just so pretty. I got the yellow and the purple one and I don't know, I just probably will never drink out of these because they're too pretty. I want to put one on my shelf and one on my mug holder, but look at how beautiful these are. I searched for a really long time for this yellow one. Nobody had this one in stock. I ended up finding it in Hollywood Studios, but pretty much all the places that we went to only had the teal one, the purple one, and the orange one, I believe it was. I finally found this on Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood Studios, and I'm trying to remember the name of the store. I can't remember the name of the store, but it's right on Hollywood Boulevard if you want to pick these up.
If you watched my huge Walt Disney World haul from 2015, you know that I am in love with Basin. Basin is basically Disney World's version of Lush Cosmetics. It has pretty much the same vibe as Lush Cosmetics. They sell bath bombs, they sell soap, they sell bath salts, they sell hand sanitizers, they sell pretty much everything that Lush Cosmetics sells, only their name is Basin. So I went in there and I bought two things. The first thing that I picked up is this pumpkin soap. It's kind of like a jack-o'-lantern soap and it's so, so pretty. You obviously can't smell it through here, but they have samples there and it smells just like pumpkin and fall is my favorite. Like I just mentioned, Halloween is one of my favorite, favorite holidays. So it just brings like a really nostalgic feel to me and I cannot wait to use this once the fall comes full swing. And the other thing that I bought are some bath salts and I found this to be such a good deal. For $20, you could fill up one, two, three, four, five, six containers with bat salt, and you only need to use two to four tablespoons in each bat. So this is going to last so long. They smell so, so good. I don't remember all the scents, but I got a pink one, blue, yellow, white, orange, and purple. And again, you only have to use two to three tablespoons in each bat. So this is going to last forever. Something different that I did this time around that I've never done at Walt Disney World before was to buy the Epcot Passport and I highly, highly suggest getting this. If you are anywhere between the ages of like 5 to 95 or older or younger, pick up the Epcot Passport. It was seriously so much fun. It is only $10. You get the passport, you get all the stickers put inside the passport, and you also get that button slash pin that I showed you in the previous clip. Basically what you do is you go to all the pavilions in the World Showcase, you meet one of the cast members and they date the time that you went there, the day that you went there, they give you two stamps and then they write you a message. So for example, this is the one from Japan. I got a nice little Hello Kitty drawing and then they wrote me a little message in Japanese. Of course, I can't read it to you right now because I don't speak Japanese, but before you leave, they basically tell you everything they wrote to you and this is just seriously such a nice keepsake. I'm going to keep this forever and it's just so much fun to look back on and remember the times that I had at Epcot. So there are two things left in this haul and the last thing that I actually purchased at Walt Disney World is probably my favorite purchase of the entire trip and it is this Vera Bradley backpack. It is the Disney inspired Vera Bradley backpack and there are little not so much hidden Mickeys, but they kind of blend in, so they kind of are little hidden Mickeys. I bought this for my classroom. I am a teacher, and I usually carry a like over-the-shoulder bag, but I have my computer in it, I have all my books, and it tends to get very, very heavy, and my shoulders usually end up hurting, my back ends up hurting, so I really wanted a backpack this year that would fit my laptop, that would fit a couple of the books, and a couple of my grading supplies that I could just bring back and forth with me to school every day. And this one is just so beautiful. I love the colors. It's very very vibrant and it's huge. I like that it has little pockets on the side that I can put my water bottle. It has a lot of space and a lot of storage. I will use this specifically for teaching but in the summer I plan on using this if I go to Walt Disney World or just using this as a backpack for anywhere that I go. And the very final thing in this haul are all the snacks that we brought home from our leftover snack credits. Now listen very closely if you are going to Disney soon and you are doing the dining plan because this might pertain to you. I always knew that if you had leftover snack credits, you could always just buy a snack with it and take it home on the plane with you. What I didn't know is if you are leftover with quick service credits, you can use those towards snacks. So one snack credit equals one snack, but one quick service credit equals three snacks. So Adam and I were leftover with two quick service credits. We never made his Animal Kingdom the second to last day because we ended up spending the whole day doing the Epcot food and drink challenge. So we never made it to Animal Kingdom, we had two quick services left over, and we basically went up to the person at the hotel and we were like, 
we have two quick service credits left over, like do they give you money back for it? And she was like, they don't give you money back for it, but you can use it towards snacks. You can get three snacks for every one quick service. Again, if we didn't ask that, we probably would have went home and just wasted those two quick service credits. So if you are doing the dining plan and for some reason you have snacks left over or quick service credits left over, buy snacks with them. So we just bought an assortment of different snacks and we brought them home and it's a nice way of bringing all those Disney treats home with you. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. I would truly, truly appreciate it. I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you so much for all your love, support, and positive vibes that you send me on my channel each and every day. It means the absolute world to me. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.